Hello dear friends, in this video we are going to learn all the details about locating the centroid of composite figure. First we will discuss the steps of locating centroid of a composite figure. Then we will do a practical problem of locating centroid of this given figure. In the upcoming videos we are going to locate the centroid of almost all shapes of the figure. So keep in touch and do not forget to like the video. In this video lecture, I am going to locate the position of centroid for the given composite figure. First of all, I will discuss the methodology of locating the centroid of the given figure and then I will do a numerical problem of calculating the centroid. So the first step of locating the centroid of given figure is select the reference axis. In the previous video, I have told that the reference axis are selected at the extreme left and at the bottom of the given figure. You can select the reference axis at any point but mostly reference axis are taken at extreme left and at the bottom of the given figure. Then divide the composite figure into regular figure and name it 1, 2, 3 or A, B, C. Like you can see that this inverted T section can be divided into two regular figures or two rectangles which are represented by green and orange color and name it 1, 2, 3 or ABC. Now step number 3 is find the area of each regular figure. These areas will be represented by A1, A2, A3 and so on. Step number 4 is find the parallel horizontal centroidal distance of regular figures from reference axis and name it X1, X2 and X3. The regular figure are 1 and 2 and the reference axis for this condition is y axis. Now just take the horizontal centroidal distance of these figure which is represented by intersection of these two lines from this reference axis which is represented by x1 and x2. Step number 5 is find the parallel vertical centroidal distance of a regular figure from reference axis. In this condition the reference axis will be x axis and find the vertical centroidal distance of both figure from this reference axis which are represented by y1 and y2. Now the last step is find the centroidal distance of composite figure by using the following formula. Horizontal centroidal axis which is denoted by x is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 a2 x2 plus a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3. And y will be equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 and so on divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on. Now we are going to solve a numerical problem of locating centroid of a composite figure. Here an inverted T section is given, dimension of the figure is given is the thickness of both rectangular section are 1 cm. The height of this section is 3 cm and the width of this section is 5 cm. So by using the previous step discussed, we can calculate the centroid of this figure. Let's start locating the centroid of this inverted T section. As you can see that the figure is symmetrical about Y centroidal axis. It means that we can have a centroidal axis which can divide this figure into two equal parts. So the figure is symmetrical about its vertical centroidal axis. So in this condition, the horizontal centroidal distance of this figure can be determined by dividing the total base length which is 5 cm divided by 2. So we will get x is equal to 2.5 cm. And you can see that the y centroidal axis is located and its horizontal centroidal distance is determined by using the property of symmetry and it is equal to x is equal to 2.5 cm. Remember that this can be written only in the case of symmetrical figure. If the figure is not symmetrical, you have to locate the centroid by using the previous step discussed. Now you can see that the figure is not symmetrical about horizontal x centroidal axis because x axis there is no such x axis which can divide the figure into two equal halves. So we are going to determine the centroid of this figure by using the previous method discussed. Let's start discussing that method. As discussed earlier that the first phase select reference axis which is already selected as y axis and x axis. Now then then the next step is divide the figure into regular figure which are represented by blue, green and orange color. Number the figure as 1 and 2 which have drawn. Next step is calculate the areas of the regular figure. Area of regular figure A1 is 1 cm multiplied by 3 cm 
because we know that this dimension is 1 cm and its height is 3 cm. So, 1 cm by 3 cm is equal to 3 cm square. Area of figure 2 can also be calculated which is also a rectangle and the area of the rectangle is equal to B multiplied by H. B is the base of a triangle and H is its height. We have already seen that its base is 5 cm while its height is 1 cm. So, 5 multiplied by 1 is equal to 5 cm. Now, look at the vertical centroidal distance of the given figure. You can see that from this axis we have to look at the centroid of figure 1 and centroid of figure 2. Centroid of figure 1 from this x axis can be determined and which is represented by y1. y1 is equal to from this x axis you can see that from, from this axis to here it is 1 cm. So, 1 cm plus the total distance, the total height of figure 1 is 3. So, the distance of its center from this point will be 3 divided by 2. So, 1 cm plus 3 divided by 2 will be equal to 2.5 cm. Now, y2 is the vertical centroidal distance of figure 2, which can be determined by dividing the height of the figure 2 by 2. The height of figure 2 is 1, so dividing it by 2, we will get y2 is equal to 0.5 cm. We will use the formula, which is y is equal to a1, y1 plus a2, y2 plus a3, y3 plus so on, divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on. So, for this figure, we have two composite figures. So, I will be equal to y, a1, y1 plus a2, y2 divided by a1 plus a2. Putting the values in this equation, we will get y is equal to 3 multiplied by 2.5 plus 5 multiplied by 0.5 divided by 3 plus 5. After a simple calculation, we will get that y is equal to 10 by 8. Dividing 10 by 8, we will get y is equal to 1.25 cm. So, we have located the centroid of the given figure. The centroid of the given figure is horizontal centroidal distance is 2.5 and its vertical centroidal distance which is represented by y is 1.25 cm which is already shown in the given figure. A problem related to locating the centroid of the figure, it is needed to show the centroid in the form of diagram. So, here it, you can see that its horizontal centroidal distance is 2.5 cm which is represented by x and its vertical centroidal distance is represented by y which is equal to 1.25 cm. In the next video, I am going to locate the centroid of this C or channel section. That was all for the day. Thank you very much for watching the video full.